Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I am doing a another Bath & Body Works haul. It's actually been a month since my last one. Usually Bath & Body Works is rolling out the new collections like crazy but I think they've slowed down a little bit and this will be my last fall haul probably and then it's gonna start turning into holiday because this is the last I think fall three possibly collection um it's a lot of like thanksgiving kind of themed items and those hit the stores today so i have just a couple candles and then some of the new body care to kind of share my opinions on but bath and body works christmas is going to be so fun i kind of want to make a video going over what is to come and what I'm excited about. So let me know if that would be interesting for you, but I don't know if they're really gonna be starting Christmas in stores until like the end of October, we will see. You know how things go. They usually start trickling in a little bit early. And I noticed that the stores have been selling a lot and selling out quickly of a lot of the fall body care. Like I cannot find pumpkin pecan waffles in store anymore. Also, I'm really surprised, but a lot of the sweet whiskey is sold out and they haven't restocked at my stores. I don't know what's up with that. So. So um, I think also the coconut candy apple has very limited supply so if you guys are wanting those I would grab them because I don't know if they're gonna stick around until they go on clearance or not but it seems like they might be gone for good and we probably won't see them at a better deal um, right now they're only doing buy three get one free body care which is really annoying <laughs> they used to always have buy three get two but now all of a sudden it's been buy three get one all the time I know last night they had a flash sale online for buy three get three so if you guys were able to take advantage of that that is awesome but it just seems very rare that we ever get a good body care sale anymore these days when in the beginning of the year I feel like they had them like every week I did want to go ahead and share this new collection with you guys because there's some pretty good stuff so let's go ahead and get started all right so first up we do have a new scent here that just came out today this is called the ruby apple and rosewood so I picked up a fragrance mist and a body cream I just I love the body cream so I've been buying them like crazy I can go through them so quickly I just feel like they smell so much better than the lotions do and have more like scent throw but the notes on this one are gala apple autumn peony and then soft suede so as far as the body cream goes this one I definitely get very fruity vibes up front it almost reminds me of cranberry rather than apple maybe a cranberry apple mixture um, spraying the spray here I just put some of the lotion on I really enjoy this one I think it's really beautiful I do feel like it's slightly different in the spray this one just seems more apple-y fruity and this one gives a little bit more of like a fall kind of spice note to it not like super spicy though but I really like the scent it honestly reminds me a little bit of frosted cranberry they had frosted cranberry in this kind of collection last year for the end of fall but they did not have it again but this one definitely gives me frosted cranberry vibes they do have that candle though if you guys are wondering like how that smells but that is what it is giving me and I really like it. It's definitely, this whole collection definitely reminds me of like true fall scents just like Thanksgiving. It's not like super foodie or anything like that but I feel like these are unique and they do remind me of fall and harvest and I just get these gorgeous fruit notes with spice and I love it. So I'm really enjoying this ruby apple and rosewood i think it's definitely worth a try especially if you're wanting something more fall like it is delicious the next one i have here is golden clementine and amber this one has notes of juicy citrus sparkling pomegranate and warm amber again i really like this one as well because it does give me like a fruity kind of orange note mixed with a fall spices i also had to mention i love the sprayers on these how it's like copper i know bath and body works does like a lot of different citrus scents so i was kind of worried that these would smell almost like the summer citruses they do i'm not always a fan of like sun wash citrus and all of those that they always come out with i feel like they all always smell the same but this one's definitely different this whole collection just screams fall it might be one of my favorite collections besides the bake shop i have to say i like this better than like the sunset woods uh pinkberry clouds probably not the last collection because it had sweet whiskey and sweet whiskey is such a favorite of mine but i just think that these smell like the most fall scents i have smelled most this year if you're looking for that kind of traditional fall scent they almost remind me of like fall candles and how that would smell but i really like these i don't even know how to describe them but they're really beautiful 
and I'm really happy to have them in my collection. I just think they smell very unique to my nose and different for Bath & Body Works to do and they totally remind me of Thanksgiving. So I think they did such a good job on this collection. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. There is one more scent in this collection which is actually a returning scent. So I already own the fragrance mist in this so I just picked up the body cream for now. This is the White Pumpkin and Chai. I loved that they did this one last year. It is the epitome of fall because it does give you like those warm vanillas and I can really smell the chai note in here. It has notes of cinnamon cider, spiced pumpkin, and vanilla glaze. It is so good. It really does smell just like you got a fresh cup of chai with the delicious whipped cream on top, some cinnamon sprinkled on top. That is what this gives me and it's so good you guys. So I'm so happy that they brought this one back and it is perfect in this Thanksgiving collection. Definitely the epitome of a fall fragrance. So we love to see it back again. They also have this one in mini so I might have to pick up a backup of the spray. I don't know. It's really a scent I only wear in fall so I guess we only have like a month or two left of that before we start switching into Christmas mode. So I guess maybe I don't need a backup because hopefully they'll keep re-promoting this every year because it is such a good one but you guys have to try it if you haven't already. The White Pumpkin and Chai is such a good scent. But that is the new body care. Let me go ahead and show you some other stuff that I also picked up. I do love the Bath & Body Works body butter so I do try to get them. They don't always come out in every scent. It's very rare that they have one but they had a bonfire bash one this year so you guys know I had to pick this up. The body butters are just so rich, so hydrating and I do feel like their shelf life is a lot longer than the body creams which is weird because I have had some of my body butters for a long time and they haven't gone bad as fast as a body cream does so that's why I opt for these if they are available they're a little bit more like price wise but I do feel like they are worth it um, if you can get it on a deal or a buy three get one sale I guess or a 20% coupon but this has shea butter and cocoa butter in it the notes of bonfire bash are vanilla bourbon creamy sandalwood and cashmere musk it's such a classic for me I love this scent and I've been wearing it it's so strong in the body butter so good if you guys want a really nice rich smoky vanilla scent a perfect scent for fall time so I did grab the body butter they have added some new items finally to the fairy tale line which is one of their new signature collections for fall I really loved it um, it reminds me so much of a high-end perfume like YSL Libre it is such a gorgeous scent and they have more things in it so of course I had to have it all because I'm obsessed but they have a creamy body scrub in fairy tale now um, if you guys didn't know the notes on fairy tale are pomegranate nectar fresh orange blossom vanilla bean and warm amber it smells so high and it's very strong so I love the creamy body scrubs from Bath and Body Works so I did pick that up as well as the body butter you guys they also have body butter for fairy tale so I had to grab it um, let's see smell. I haven't tried this one yet. So good. Cannot wait to pair this with my mist and my fairy tale perfume. This is finally out you guys. So I did grab the perfume. I don't usually buy the perfumes from Bath & Body Works because I usually just stick to the fragrance mist but since I really like this one I was like let's grab it in the perfume. They usually only have the perfume for the same year that they launched the fragrance. Like I can never, I don't think they even make in the stars perfume anymore or into the night perfume. I think they only launch them when the scent launches so if this if this does stick around you're gonna want to get the perfume like now rather than later when it's gone so um I did use a 20% off coupon on this it is like pricey but it's gonna be stronger than the fragrance mist is so this was $39.50 so gorgeous the bottle how pretty you guys so this is the fairy tale perfume it has a little key on it adorable the perfume this smells exactly like my YSL Libre perfume so if you do want a dupe for YSL Libre um, and have that same potency definitely grab fairy tale in the perfume because this smells identical to me 
So I did pick that up. Also picked up the moisturizing body wash. We just have to have it all. You guys, I don't really buy the shower gels that much anymore, only at SAS because I have so many. And I've been liking more moisturizing shower gels. I've been leaning more towards the Dove brand for that. Um, but I do like the moisturizing ones at Bath & Body Works. So I did pick that one up for the moisturizing shower gel. And then I also grabbed a backup of Sweet Whiskey. This is one of my favorite scents. And like I said, my stores have hardly any of this left. And I, I really don't know if they're restocking. So let me know down below if you guys think they will restock. I know um, online it probably has better chances of finding these. But yeah, I made sure to grab another one of these in case they are gone. So I grabbed the Fragrance Mist and Sweet Whiskey as well as the Body Cream for a backup. Because I love this scent, especially for fall and winter. All right, now I'll share with you the candles that I picked up. So this one was not like a new one from this collection. This one came out in the last release last month, but this is High Pumpkin Pumpkin Spice Latte. I forgot to buy this last time, so I was like, I need this one because it's so cute. And this one smells to me, it's very chocolatey coffee. I don't know if it would be a pumpkin spice latte, but I do really like how the scent is. If you want like a more kind of mocha coffee scent, you'd probably like this one a lot. Um, it's not pumpkin-y at all, but the notes are pumpkin pie spice, freshly brewed espresso, homemade whipped cream, and sprinkling of cinnamon sugar. So I did grab that. And then for the brand new candles, I was really intrigued about this one. This is the Sweet Kettle Corn. I had to try it. I love popcorn and it's very rare to find like a popcorn scent. Uh, the notes are freshly popped kettle corn, creamy caramel sprinkled with sugar and sea salt. So I actually burned this one yesterday. And right away when you do smell this, you do get like a buttery popcorn scent. Um, but when you burn it, you get a lot more caramel. A lot of people um, compare this one to like Summer Boardwalk or I don't know. I think they changed the name of it. But I know it as Summer Boardwalk where it has like that kind of popcorn, apple, caramel, cone kind of scent mixture of those. That's what it reminds me of. But I get a lot of caramel, so you have to like caramel to like this one because it is very sweet. Um, it definitely fills the room. It's very strong. So this one is definitely a good one to try, especially if you love caramel notes. I also grabbed the Spiced Cranberry Toffee, another one that sounded amazing to me. It has notes of rich toffee, fresh cranberries, and swirled with caramel. This one is really nice as well. I do get the cranberry fruity vibes, but also the very sweet caramely notes here um definitely reminds me of like a baked dessert so delicious and then lastly i did get the fall festival candle i think this one has the most gorgeous packaging this one has notes of fresh pumpkin spiced cinnamon and sweet maple almond butter this one is really cinnamony but i like it i think i'm gonna like it burning as well I was hoping it wouldn't have too much of the maple butter because I'm not much of a syrupy kind of fragrance lover, but this one does seem very nice, especially if you like a cinnamon sugar kind of bakery scent. Really nice candle. Cannot wait to burn it. So I did pick up those three for the new ones, and then, yeah, the next things I buy is probably going to be holiday unless I do um, notice a good sale going on for body care. I might try to stock up on like coconut candy, apple, pumpkin, pecan waffles, those favorites because I feel like they're going to be gone anytime now. But that is it for this Bath and Body Works haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You can find these scents in stores and online right now if you guys are shopping. But that is it for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.